Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we have a little bit different video for you. Today, I want you to go to the barber shop with me. But first, let's talk about why we go to the barber shop and what we can expect. Why do we go to the barber shop? Usually, because our hair is uneven, right? It's different lengths. Or because our beard is scruffy. What is scruffy? Scruffy means unkept. So my beard, for example, it's okay. But I need to have it done by a professional. So I'm going to get my hair cut and I'm going to have my beard trimmed. What do you do at the barber shop? Well, usually a barber uses scissors, shears, electric clippers, and straight razors to cut your hair and beard. Usually, people use electric clippers around the sides. So a number three or number four clippers. A straight razor is used for clean shaving or for neckline options. Some neckline options are squared, rounded, or fade. Fade is another name for a hairstyle. There are lots of different men's hairstyles. I usually have a pretty regular conservative hairstyle. So you could get a buzz cut, which is very low with the clippers, but you could also get a Caesar. You could get high and tight or a crew cut. A comb over is very popular and also a faux hawk. There's also something called a square cut. I'm going to leave a link to a website called ties.com that has a lot of things about men's grooming and fashion and other things like that. So check out the link. So what do you say to the barber when you want to get your hair cut? Most people say just a little off the top. Just take a little bit off the top. Or just clean it up a little. They say that when they don't want a lot to be done. But some people choose a completely different hairstyle. I'm going in for a traditional shave and a haircut. Do you remember that song, shave and a haircut, two bits? Well, that's where the expression comes from. Hey, and a haircut. When you have your hair cut, usually they will wet your hair and then cut it to your desired length. After you get your hair cut, they usually shampoo your hair and then model it with some sort of product maybe a gel or some oil or ointment. There are tons of options for your beard as well. You could have a full beard, which is what I have, or you could have just a mustache and goatee. Some people like mutton chops or mutton chops with a mustache, which is called friendly mutton chops. You could also have a chin curtain, a chin curtain is where your beard comes down underneath and back up with no mustache. There's also what's called a mustache and a chin strip. Have you ever seen those old French movies with the swordsmen? They used to have those a lot. Anyway, after you have your beard done in the style that you choose, the barber will often offer you some beard oil 
or other product that will help keep um, the hair on your face soft and manageable. Now let's go get that shave and a haircut. Just waiting for you to get called. Check it out. Look, see, got scissors, shears, scissors, shears, clippers, everything you need. Straight razors around here somewhere. Products. So, here's the final result. He trimmed the beard, tapered it. Um, I don't like square beards or bushy beards. I prefer a tapered beard or a triangular beard. So, he used a straight razor on the neck and the neckline in the back is square. Um, took a few centimeters off the top and also tapered all around the sides. Now, to hold the hair in place, he used a pomade instead of a gel. A pomade is kind of like a cream, but it's drier. So gel is wet and kind of gooey, but pomade is a little bit drier. It's kind of like an ointment almost. Uh, it's hard to explain. Anyway, you can find that at your barber shop. And we also used what is called a wax. Instead of oil, because the heat here in Brazil uh, makes the oil kind of come off. So we used a, a wax, a beard wax instead. So did you notice any other items in the video of the barbershop? Let's name a few. So we've already seen scissors, shears, clippers, and a stray razor. What else can you see here? There are several kinds of combs. There's a spray bottle, a shaver, which is different from clippers, many clipper attachments, there's some pomade, and some beard wax. What else can you see in this picture? You can see a soap dish and a beard brush, some more products, a dyeing bowl. In the mirror, you can see some straight razors. There's a towel, and in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a hair dryer. So we talked about scissors and shears, but what's the difference? Well, scissors usually are used to cut long or short hair. Shears are generally a little bit uh, shorter, and lots of times they'll have ridges because you use them to take some volume out of your hair. Those are shears. What else did you see? Combs. There are lots of different kinds of combs. You can have hair combs or beard combs. You can also have brushes. And there are lots of different kinds of brushes. It's also common to see spray bottles. Sometimes the barber will spray your hair in order to style it or before he cuts it. There may be a steamer for hot towels, because when you do your beard, lots of times you put a hot towel on your face first. When you're finished shaving, lots of times you'll put on aftershave. I'll leave a link for you to look at some different beard styles. Professionally, nowadays, more companies are accepting beards, but some companies still discriminate a little bit and they want their employees clean shaven. Clean shaven means no beard and no mustache. Quick recap. Do you remember what you need to say to the barber when you go to the barber shop? Just a little off the sides. Or, I like this hairstyle. Or, I want Brad Pitt's hairstyle, or I want George Clooney's hairstyle. You can also ask for a hairstyle by name. Cut it high and tight. I want a crew cut. Or you could just say, surprise me, but I'm not that adventurous. So that was our trip to the barbershop. 
Thank you for going with me. I hope you learned some new words and some phrases you can use if you go to the barbershop. See you next time and let's practice.